A friend of mine asked the question, which is more powerful, a lightsaber, the sonic screwdriver, or a wand from Harry Potter? We're gonna find out today. I just have to address one thing before I continue. The question that the question that was proposed to me was didn't wasn't a very good question. Power can be defined as many different things. So in that, there are different categories. I'm not going to go into the categories, so we're going to assume that power means the most uh, out, most energy output. So a lightsaber. A lightsaber is a is the weapon of the Jedi and the Sith. A powerful a powerful beam of plasma and of laser induced plasma that comes from a device. Now. The lightsaber, its power is derived from a superconductor battery in the hilt of in the hilt of a lightsaber. Now, this uh, battery has has been refined many times over the thousands of years that the lightsabers have been around. But um, it's a battery around here that leads to that outputs energy to a laser that is then refined through several lenses, and finally between one and three crystals that give the lightsaber its plasma. Now the plasma is contained in an electromagnetic field and a lightsaber can cut through almost anything. There are very few things that it can't cut through and those are exceedingly rare, except for another lightsaber, which it can't cut through, obviously. Now the second thing is the sonic screwdriver. Now, a sonic, now, the sonic screwdriver is a device used by Doctor Who in the TV series and movies. It's pretty much a universal access device. It has a, by the end of its reincarnations and upgrades and remakes, it has a ridiculously long list that I will play right here. Now, all of these functions um, allow it to do pretty much anything, but it's got a massive battery. The whole thing is pretty much a battery with a multi-wave multi emitter at the end that generally glows between blue and green. Now, this the battery can hold a charge for about 300 years, but it can also draw energy straight from the TARDIS. A, the magic, the, not magical, the technological device that Doctor Who uses to travel through time and space in the universe, as, and as he put it, the big, the big wiggly woggly loop of time. Now, pitted against each other, you could say either of them could win. It depends on the skill of the user. Doctor Who is really the only person who knows every little feature of the sonic screwdriver. Uh, Rose only ever knew one or two because the doctor told her exactly what those were, such as such as 36H or 24B, which are not actually correct. Now, a lightsaber can be it requires training, but can be used by anyone. You don't need the force to use a lightsaber. Thank you to the Mandalorians for pointing that out. But all of this can be summed up in just kind of a battle. By maximum power output, the, the sonic screwdriver can win because it has an almost infinite supply of power that it can that it can push into any direction. A lightsaber has a, has a finite amount of power, but it loops the power. The plasma goes in through the top. The plasma goes out from the bottom up to the top, where it loops back into the base, where it goes through a negative polarizer, which recharges the battery that powers it to begin with. So it's a never-ending loop. Power is only expended when it cuts through something solid, where the loop is broken. Now, of all these things, you could say easily that the lightsaber could win. You could just lop the lop the doctor in half, per se, or you could or you could destroy the sonic screwdriver. But the sonic screwdriver is slightly ranged. From every episode that I've ever seen of Doctor Who and through my extensive research, the ability of the sonic screwdriver to mess with things has a range of between five inches and a foot. It's not very far. You'd have to stick the sonic screwdriver almost almost touching the lightsaber to just dis to dismantle it or to turn it off. If you turn it off, you can just turn it back on, right? Makes sense. So for this, I would have to leave it up to you. I personally think that a lightsaber would be better. You can throw a lightsaber. It has a range of about. It has a ranged attack of about a meter, and the sonic screwdriver can't mess with a physical object such as plasma. Oh wait, what's that? Okay. My producer is telling me that I kind of forgot the Harry Potter wand. And I'll 
I'll cover that right now. The Harry Potter wands are, have no power whatsoever. They are a stick of wood ranging between five between five inches and 13-ish inches as the max in the book goes. And all it does is focus magical energy from the wizard. It has very little power on its own. The max, all it really does is focus energy, if that makes sense. Good. Subscribe if you want more. Tell, comment on the idea, on other ideas and things you would like to ask me to have me answer. I love doing the research. I love answering the questions. And I love making the videos. See you next time.